It's been one of the great challenges since the dawn of human history, preserving fresh food so that it can be consumed later. In these days of supermarkets and convenience stores, well-preserved food is plentiful thanks to modern technology. This packet of breakfast granola should last several years thanks to its high barrier, environmentally friendly packaging. It's packed in a particularly durable heat sealable plastic manufactured by Melbourne-based company Inovia Films, who specialise in producing biaxially oriented polypropylene. Polypropylene offers a unique position, firstly for its cost, but also its functionality as a final product. It's very lightweight and offers very good food protection, but its extension of shelf life is certainly the, the key characteristic of, of polypropylene versus others. But the challenge with polypropylene and other film-based packaging is that they've traditionally been produced as a byproduct of the oil industry. Anovia Film says that's changing. We have got ISCC certified bio-based polymers available. So that's um, from coniferous tree oil, um, a totally renewable source. We have got our PCR polymers, which is from waste plastics, which would be destined for landfill. And we also have post-industrial reclaim that we can use um, in any of our products. In many parts of the world, plastic waste is simply incinerated. That's not an acceptable option in Australia. The Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation says polypropylene films still have an important place in our society, with one proviso. It can often be the lightest material. It can often have the smallest uh, carbon footprint. And um, when it is designed to be optimised, on balance, it provides a sound, solid uh, environmental solution on condition that it is recovered and taken back and recycled uh, or reused. And that's where Anovia says it needs help. We have the ability here to help close the loop. We can't do it by ourselves. We certainly can't do it on our own. And we need the support of industry, really. Uh, we need the support of governments and councils but secondly, the, the recyclers and the waste collection systems. Inovia has factories around the world, using a variety of manufacturing processes to produce its polypropylene films. Here in Craigieburn, Australia, Inovia uses a patented bubble process. It's by carefully controlling the speed at which the bubble is produced that the thickness of the resulting material is determined meaning the factory can produce everything from clear overwraps for this box of tea to thick printable film for banknotes. We've been producing banknotes on this site for 25 years. At the end of the day, um, they'll last so much longer than the paper notes and we obviously can get a lot of special features in there from a counterfeiting point of view. After the bubble is stretched and cooled, film is wound into huge reels which weigh about one and a half tonnes and can hold 30 kilometres of film. We have a unique process. We produce different characteristics in our film, but we also can take on small orders that other our competitors would unlikely to do. As well as recycling its own plastic waste, Inovia has been using chemically recycled post-consumer polymer imported from Germany. But the company says that's not a sustainable long-term solution. Ideally, we would like to have our material coming from Australia because it reduces out the carbon emissions associated with transport um, by bringing it from Europe. The food and grocery industry has faced challenges, such as the collapse of the Red Cycle Plastics Collection Scheme in 2022. The regulatory settings are going to change. And I think the sooner industry can jump on board, see this as now's your opportunity. You need to partner with, with companies that are providing the innovative um, packaging solutions and formats. You also need to be looking at taking more responsibility for the packaging at its end of life. Once we have uh, consumers being um, segregating their waste and, and putting it into the appropriate bins, then it needs to get to the industrial process to recycle it and then obviously to a plant like ours. And then our brand owners need to be requesting that from us so that we can then produce that film and it can be made back into those consumer products. I walk down the beach every night and I don't want to see plastic in the sea. We should need to have an ability to obviously take that plastic back and separate that uh, get it in the right condition that we can use it back in the process again.
that's what we genuinely want to do. Mark Williams isn't alone in that wish, but the wheels of change need buy-in from industry, government and consumers to close the loop and free our environment from soft plastic waste.